Ian from RTO here. Hope you are well. Um, welcome to Tuesday. Um, got an interesting one for you today. Um, I'm looking at the albums of a Spice Girl. The Spice Girl in question is Melanie Jane Chisholm, better known as Mel C, Melanie C, or when she was in the Spice Girls, Sporty Spice. Um, I come across her by um, hearing her debut album by a girl I used to work with and she put it on one day and I thought yeah this isn't too bad so I went and brought it and uh, yes I admit I've got it and now I admit that I've got all their albums up to a current one um, she's got a great voice uh, I think she's one of the most talented members of the Spice Girls uh, she first did a first solo bit when she did with Brian Adams on his song Now That You're Gone which was a great version of a song great version great song so then she decided I think to go and do her own I'd say that she's probably the she, of all the Spice Girls. She's the one that had the most successful um, solo career. I mean, she does film acting. She's done musicals. Very all-round talented woman. She's released eight um, solo albums. So we're going to have a look at those eight. So coming in at number eight is the current album released October of last year just called Melanie C now I haven't brought this one and there's a reason it's too poppy for me she's sort of gone away from the indie rock sound to this horrible poppy sound so I've had a, list, a quick listen to it on Spotify and uh, I'll give you my impressions of it right the first track who am I? Who am I? It's just not for me. It's got a nice beat, I suppose, but it's just too poppy. I just don't like this poppy. It's just too. Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Too generic. Blame it on me. Again, it's the same old backing track with different vocals. Uh, good enough it is one of the better tracks it's okay escape it's a dance track and I just cannot do it overload again dance I just I just can't do dance music I'll listen to any sort of music but I just don't get this dance stuff here I am it's not a bad track it's not it's one of the better ones on the album um, nowhere to run not my cup of tea at all so you really know what I think of that one um, in and out of love no and the last track end of everything it's actually a good track uh, it's not plastic it's not generic it's actually a thought song and it's pretty good um, and that's the reason I haven't brought it. It's just an atrocious album, personally. I do not like this synthetic pop that you can put a downer track and you can sing any words to it. No. So, I'm going to give it an RTO ranking. 1 out of 10. I've never given a 1 out of 10. I'm only giving the 1 for the last track. Moving on then, coming in at number seven is the seventh album uh, released in 2016, Version of Me. Again, there's too much of this poppy stuff on it. Um, Dear Life, just far too poppy. Synthetic drums, synthetic keys. It's just, it's terrible. Escalator. Ah. Oh probably one of the worst songs I've ever heard by Melanie C I've heard better Spice Girl records than that 
and I'm not a great fan of Spice Girls at all. Any more? It's not too bad. Something in the fire. I like this track. It's got a good. It has got a nice tempo, and uh, there's nothing wrong with Mel's singing on these two albums. Still, you know, she's 47 now, and she's still singing as good as she did when she was 27. Uh, so, version of me again. Title track isn't too bad. Numb, ooh, yeah, not keen on that one at all. Room for love is just not my thing. Unraveling, I just don't like this computer-generated strings. I, it, it sounds plastic to me. That's just me. I mean, there might be people out there that do them on it, but. I don't like it. Loving you better. No, sorry. Our history. I don't mind this. The the the, the arrangement's pretty good. Um, it's a strong vocal, so it's okay. And the last track. Uh, this isn't bad either. Um, it's pleasant enough. Again, there's only a two or three tracks on this that I can listen to and the rest uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't care I ever heard them again um, so unfortunately this only gets an RTO ranking of 2 out of 10 very very low ok coming in at number 6 from 2011 the C 5th album um this is a mixed bag. This is the album that really started her going back to pop and away from the indie rock alternative music, which she was very good at. The opening track, The Sea, title track, is not a bad track. It's a little bit poppy, but it's well produced and it's in an interesting arrangement. So I don't mind listening to that one. Weak, again, it's not too bad. It's got a catchy tune, actually. You get the hooks okay. Think about it. Nah, too poppy. The only thing I like about it is that guitar intro. Uh, beautiful mind. Again, they're electronically made strings. Just ruins tracks. I don't, I don't get it. You know, if you want to do strings, get some strings in. Muck about with a computer. One by one, best song on the album. It's got a nice acoustic guitar rhythm in this. It's it's very similar. Going still back from the old sort of earlier Mel C stuff. Really good. Stupid game. The guitars are good in this, but the rest of it is just synthetic pop. All About You. Nice track. Really is pleasant. Um, again, it's not as poppy as a lot of the stuff on the previous albums. It's a borderline, but I don't mind listening to it. Burn. More of this poppy rubbish that I just cannot do. Now Drown. It's Burn Again, same beat, different work, vocals. No. Get out of here. I don't mind this. The beginning is the world, it's the piano. You're thinking you're listening to a Super Tramp album song. And it's not a bad track, I'll give her that one. It's pretty, pretty good. Enemy. Right. Longest track on the album. It's, it's quite good. But take away the synthetic strings put in a proper orchestra and you probably get a good track but with the computer gener generated strings it sounds weak and hollow um, again it's a bit of a mixed bag but there are more tracks on here that I do like um, so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 5 out of 10 Okay, coming in at number five is, and I forgot to take the phones out again, 
Right, I'm going to put them in a drawer and hide them. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. Right, coming in at number five then is a six album from 2012. It's called Stages. Basically, it's a cover album of songs from the shows. I love this album. And then you know me in cover albums, I just don't do them. But this is really good. It just shows what a good singer Melanie is. The first track on here is maybe this time from Cabaret. Sings this song so well. Um, hard song to cover, I think, but she pulled it off. Fantastic. Then she did a hundred, uh, another hundred people from Company. I love this song anyway, and she sings it so well. Uh, I think she should do more stage musicals now, because I think she's got the voice. Uh, I'll talk about a little bit more about her stage presence in a moment. Next track uh, comes from Chess. I know him so well. Was it Barbara Dixon and Elaine Page did the original? Uh, this version, uh, it's Melanie C and Emma Bunton. Nice to see that two people from the Spice Girls that actually can sing and have some talent. Great version. I like it. And then we get Aren't You Kind of Glad We Did from the, the Shocking Miss Pilgrim. Another, It's a different track. It's not one that appears on albums and people cover, but she did a fantastic version of it. Now, we get to my favourite song on the album. It's I Don't Know How To Love Him from Jesus Christ Superstar. Now, recently, um, I found on BritBox the stage show that she was in. It's a modern take of Jesus Christ Superstar and Mel plays Mary Magdalene. At she when she sings this in the show, she carries it off fantastically. She sings it beautifully, and she was such. She was very good as Mary Madeline. Anyway, it's a fantastic song. I love the song. Always have. Um, but she does this song justice. Fantastic. Then the next song is both sides now from Priscilla, the Queen of the Desert. Another solid performance. Just shows what a versatile singer Mel is. Then she does a version of Ain't Got No I Got A Life from Hair. I love this song anyway. Uh, one of my favourite songs from the show, which has given me an idea for a show, a, a show anyway for the channel. Um, great version. Then she does. A brilliant cover of I Just Don't Know What To Do With Myself from Shout The Mod Musical. We all know um, Dusty Springfield's version of this and this is a close second. Great song, great version. I Only Have Eyes For You from Dames. Not a great fan of this song but it's not a bad version of the song. Tell me Tell Me It's Not True from Blood Brothers, another one of my favourite songs, and she does a really good version of it. Uh, my Funny Valentine from Babes in Arms, another great version of this song. Then, when I'm at my second favourite track on the album, Something Wonderful from The King and I. She just sang, sings it absolutely brilliantly. And then I've got the iTunes bonus track, uh, Anything Goes. If Anything Goes, solid, great fun track to end the album. I love this album. It's an album that I put on, as I say, it's a Sunday morning album. Uh, or actually put, I like listening to this when I'm ironing. Yes, I do ironing. Yes. Don't and admit to it. I don't mind admitting to it. So it's a, it's one of them albums I put on while I'm ironing because I find ironing very therapeutic anyway. And I give this great album an RTO ranking of seven out of ten. Okay, coming in at number four is a second album 
released in 2003, Reason, solid album. Opens up with the brilliant Here It Comes Again. What a belter. I love all the guitar work in this. Uh, fantastic track. Then we get the title tracks Reason, another solid track. Um, I just love the piano work in this. It's fantastic and Mel singing is just out the top draw. Lose Myself and You. Yeah, this is a quirky one, a little bit poppy, but I really enjoy the song. It's got a hook that once you hear it, you can't get it out of your head. On the Horizon, I've never liked this track, I'm afraid, um, but we can't like them all. Positively Somewhere. Nice upbeat song. Um, very uplifting. Gives you, you know, if you're feeling down, put this on and it makes the world a little bit better. Melt, another great melody here. One thing about her songs, they're nice melodies and they're catchy and they're, they've got a hook. The guitar work in this is superb. Great track. Do I? It's not my cup of tea, but it's listenable. Okay. Next is a cover, Soul Boy by Etia Gornarak. All I'll say is this is a lot, lot better than the original version. Absolutely a beautiful song, and she sings it well. Water, solid, solid track. Um, it's not brilliant, it's not rubbish e easier. Either, sorry, easier. It's okay. Home, like this song. Although it's got electronic drum beats in it, it actually, the view, whoever put this together used it properly and it fits really well in with Mel singing. Absolute dynamite singing on this. Let's Love. Really nice rocker this is. Great guitars, great riffing, brilliant track. And then we end up with Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. Love this track. I like the combination of dance and rock very very clever and works and it's got some great guitar riffs in this okay when you've had a successful debut album your follow-up is the one that everyone looks at and i think she pulled it off with this one a very good effort um she was a little bit more exp explored music a little bit more and it's a really good album and I'll give it an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, coming in at number three, fourth album from 2007. This time, again, another solid album. Um, opens up with Understand. Sounds like a Coldplay song. Uh, it's really good. Let me get What If I Say. I love the electric. Um, guitar it's an electric guitar but it sounds acoustic I just think it sounds really good there's no distortion it's just plug it in and go and I don't know if the strung strings are real or the computerized but they actually sound really good really good track protected solid track it's it's a bit poppy, but it's well produced. Really solid trial song. Then we get the title track this time. Although again, this one's a little bit poppy, it's still a very good track. Uh, nice melody again. There's nothing wrong with that. Then we get the brilliant Carolina. Again, it's a mixture of that rock and pop. It's getting that fine line. And this one works. It's a great song. Um, Forever Again, another great track, the piano runs through this, keeps the song moving at a nice pace, even the little bit of drum machine sounds good in this, but you've got the, a proper drummer there as well and they've, it works well, good track. Your Mistake, love the drumming on this, Very, it's, it's a very progressive sounding drum with lots of half beats, very solid. 
The Moment You Believe. This is my favourite song. Um, again, it's got that mixture of pop and rock. Balance is beautiful. Favourite of me, I'm one of her, my favourite songs that she's ever done. Great, great track. Don't Let Me Go. Not my favourite track. Um, a little bit weak, just doesn't thing. It features Adam Argyle. It doesn't do nothing for me. Immune. Really good track. Bit of a crooner. Yeah, I can imagine someone like Tony Bennett singing it or Rod Stewart. Great, great track. May I, may your heart. Solid track. Nothing wrong with this one. It's not top draw, but it's still very listenable. Out of time. Now this is one of them tracks. It starts off as a nice, quiet ballad. God, oh, this is really pleasant, and all of a sudden it kicks. Great rock riffs. And the album ends up with I Want Candy, uh, a cover of The Strange Loves song from 65. This has got brass, this has got brilliant vocals, brilliant drums, great track. Great one to end the album with. Another solid up to album. There's an, Okay, there's tracks I'm not keen on, personally, but on the whole, it's a very good, well put together album. I mean, she's the way she's used in this album, she uses rock and pop together really well. So I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Now, the top two again, it's only a couple of things that separate them. So coming in at number two is the debut album from 1999, Northern Star. This is a fantastic album. Contains my favourite song of all time by Mel C. It's got some really good rockers. Uh, it's got uh, lots of little dance songs that sound really good. Uh, William Orbit was involved with this album really really good the first track uh go song about breaking up with someone great track to open up with nice melody nice guitars nice flute solid track northern star the title track again it's that mixture of rock and pop Very, very good song. Then we got my favourite track. This is probably the heaviest track that she's ever done going down. I love that start, that riff, and then you get that keyboard, that piercing keyboard, and then her voice on this. She rocks. Um, the live version of this is even better. Great, great track. One of my, my favourite track by Mel C. I Turn To You. I've never been a great fan of this. It's just lacking something. And when they did the remix, it was even worse. Out of the two versions I've heard of this, this is the better one by a smidgen, but it's not my favourite track. If That Were Me, I love this. This is a nice little acoustic track. Got a nice catchy hook to it. Great for song. Now, this is a song that the next one, Never Be The Same Again, that had least uh, Left Eye Lopez on it. Now, you think, I don't like dance music, but there's something about this song that I like. Don't ask me what it is, because I can't tell you, but I just like it. I do love the little bit of rap as well from Left Eye Lopez. Great track. Don't ask me why. Talking of why, that's the next track. I love this track. It reminds me a little bit of the of the band Orb, that atmospheric uh, a sound, atmospheric pastiche. I love it. Really good track. Suddenly Monday. Uh, song written by Rick Rubin. Uh, great. 
very ups, upbeat song. Like the piano, again it could be something out of a show. Then we get Gaga, another rocker, absolutely brilliant track. Be the one reminds me of Alanis Morissette. This does. It's, it's the whole track is very much like. Um, I can think what. Come on, I'm having a memory lapse. Ironic. That starts like that, but it doesn't go into a rocker. It keeps very quiet, lovely. Closer. Another different sort of track. Very pleasant. Feel the sun. This is probably not my least favourite album track, but it's a little bit boring. Uh, I just don't get it. But on the whole, this is a solid debut album. Uh, it's a best selling one, it's the best selling album of any of the Spice Girls solo stuff. Um, totally different from the poppy Spice Girls stuff. Great album. And I give it an RTO ranking of 8.5. It's alright, my stomach's making terrible noises this morning. Okay, coming in at number one then is the third album, 2005, Beautiful Intentions. This is a great album. It's probably the rockiest one she made. Uh, and I love every track on this. It's such a good, good, solid album. So the first track is the title track, Beautiful Intentions. Great rock track, that grungy start. Her voice sounds absolutely on top form in this. It's a terrific song. Then we get my favourite song, Next Best Superstar. Driving riffs, driving drums, and she has got a great rock voice. Don't take that away from her. She should have stayed doing this sort of sound. It is fantastic. Better Alone, another great song. Uh, it could have come, it's not a rocker, but it could have come straight out of a London stage show. Superb. Last Night on Earth, solid rocker, love it. Great, great track. Really heavy riffs in this. Great bass line as well. You will see the guitar riff at the beginning of this is really great. Real grungy sound. Driving riff. Great, great track. Never say never. Real hard rocker this is. Love the guitar solo in this. It's absolutely dynamite. Good girl, slower track, very pleasant. Don't need this. Great rocker, solid, solid song. Guitar solo again is a killer, killer stuff. Little piece of me, again these riffs. This is so heavy. Bass line in this is terrific, uh, and Mel's voice on this is just powerful very powerful here and now a bit mellow some nice strings in this solid track take your pleasure the gu the guitar riffs are absolutely belting great hook can't get any better than that you'll get yours solid not the best track on the album but it's still very listenable. As I said, this is far best the best album by Mel C. It's the rockiest, it's the heaviest. But I can't give it a 10 because of the, there's a couple of tracks that are a little bit weak. But I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Well, that was a bit different, folks. Um, this is... This is she should have stayed on the rock thing because the last two albums have gone too poppy. Um, I think before I buy any more new stuff, I will have a listen first. I made that mistake with the version of me and wish I hadn't brought it. Anyway, uh, we've got another 
special show later. Uh, retro ranking this week is in tribute to Brian Travers, who sadly passed away last week from UB40. So I'll be choosing my top 10 UB40 songs. So I will see you later for that one. Take care for now.